Well, hey everybody, Matt Loveday here. Welcome to our online preschool video for this weekend. And I am so glad that you have joined us. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see your family. And I hope that you continue to learn some amazing things about God's beautiful love as we learn together. And as we keep talking about our theme this month of jump, 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 because we all want to jump and go God's way. So I thought today we would start with a few jumping jacks. Have you done a jumping jack before? If not, let me teach you, okay? I'll step back a little bit and, and show you. It goes like this. Everybody stand up with me. Okay, everybody, are you ready to start our jumping jacks? The first position we need to be in is our star position, which means we want to take our arms and our feet and put them wide apart, just like this. Okay? You see how my arms are way out wide and my feet, my legs are way out wide and I'm making like a giant star with my body. This is position number one. And then we go to what I call pencil position and you bring your feet in and your hands in to touch just like this there we go now we are in pencil position and these are the two positions of doing jumping jacks so do you think we can do five jumping jacks all together can we try good you're standing you're ready to go are you in star position? Here we go. Let's count along with me. One, two, three, four, five. You did it. Well done, everybody. And now it's time to learn from our Bible story. It's Bible time again. So let's see if I can find my Bible. Let me see. Oh, no, this isn't my Bible. This is, this is a beautiful vase full of yellow tulips. Let me try again. Oh, no, this isn't my Bible. This is some dog treats. I don't think I want these. Let me try again. but this is a really cute stuffy. It's a cow stuffy. I love it. Do you love it? He's saying hello, but this isn't my Bible. Let me try again. Nope. Orange juice. Peanut butter. Raisins. It's my Bible. You know, my Bible is so important. The Bible is God's Word. The Bible is God's Word. And it's such an important book, my friends. It tells us three very important things through all the pages of the Bible. And those things are that God made me, that God loves me, and that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. And that's what all our Bible stories are about, including today's. So why don't we take a moment right now, and we're going to head over to the clubhouse, where Zoe and Ollie and Louise are going to teach us this week's Bible story. But before we do that, before we go to the clubhouse, let's Stand up and sing our song this month. It's an amazing song about how God is perfect. So let's jump on over and sing our song. I'll see you after the clubhouse. You 
mess are you? Hi, Ollie. It's gonna be so hard, I don't know if I can do it. Doing the right thing can be hard. It's true. I've got just the Bible story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. the last one. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project, and we need lots of bricks. Hmm. Can you count them with me as I put them away? All right. Here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many is that? Two, okay. All right, let's keep going. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> Oh, now, how many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our store today. If you want to help me build it. Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer. 
Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin and it hurt really bad. There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. Do you know what? Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And look, his spots are gone! <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too! <laughs> way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman. <laughs> it was hard, but you did it, and now you're all better. See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. And it's all true. Naaman did a hard thing. And we can follow God's way, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Naaman had to do something really hard, but he did it because he trusted that God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! This is going to be really hard, but my dad told me to do it, so I will. I wonder if I have to scrub my boots seven times. One. Two, three, well, there you go, friends. Wasn't that an amazing Bible story today from God's Word? A story about a man named Naaman who had six spots all over his body, didn't he? And he wanted to get well. And so he obeyed God and did something that maybe seemed a little strange. He went and had a bath seven times in the river. Do you like to take a bath? I do too. Could you imagine taking seven baths that would get you super clean. And you know what? After Naaman took his seven baths in the river, the Bible says that Naaman's six spots were all gone. But it wasn't because of the water. 
It wasn't because of the bath. It was because he obeyed God. He did a hard thing in obeying God, but he did the right thing in obeying God. And that's the truth, friends, that going God's way is always perfect. You know, this story reminds me of this month's Bible verse. Remember, we've been talking about it. It's found in the Bible in 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 31. And it says, God's way is perfect. That's right, friends. Can you say that again with me? God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. I hope that you know and believe that God's way is perfect. Thank you so much for joining us this week. It's so good to be with you. Why don't we take a moment just before we go to pray? Okay, so let's take our hands. We can wiggle them like this and bring them together. And as they do, they'll get nice and quiet and be together. We'll close our eyes and we will pray to God. God, thank you that you love us so much. And thank you that we can always trust you because your way is perfect. Help us this week to love you and to jump, jump, jump your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, goodbye, everybody. It was so great to see you again this week, and we can't wait to see you again next week. Until then, remember, God made you, God loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Have a great week.